Hi students, it's Mr. Nguyen here. Thanks for joining me. Today we are going to do reflections, but we are not graphing. We are actually using the rule to look for um, the or, or the coordinates, right? So the order pair of the image. Um, however, uh, having a graph is going to be useful, right? So <clears throat> let's uh, get started with this first example. Um, Oh, I want this. Okay. So we are reflecting this uh, RSTU, RSTU um, over the y axis. So that's going to be here, here um, at negative 10. So it's going to be at positive 10 here and then here right so these are our locations so it's it's actually is useful to have a graph right but let's find out where those things are okay you could actually use the rule if you want if you're reflecting over the y axis using the rule might be a little bit faster right save you some time if you're reflecting over the y axis the y value will stay the same okay so you go from uh, whatever y to whatever y okay so the y value will stay the same that's reflecting over the y-axis the x value however will become opposite so if this is a positive x it will become negative x okay and vice versa vice versa I mean if you start with a negative x you will end up with a positive x so let's use the rule and then double check our answer with the solution up uh, with the locations that I, I marked up here right so this is supposed to so if we're reflecting over the y-axis the y my value will be all the same. So I, if I were you, I would go ahead and fill in all the Y values that are the same uh, because they are staying the same. So I would fill in all the Y value just so that I don't get confused in the middle of the, the, the way, right? This will be opposite. So this will become 10 and then the next one will be a one and then this will be a one and then that will be a 10. The opposite of the negative will be positive, right? So let's double check real quick. 10, negative 6. Where's 10, negative 6? 10 is x, negative 6 right here. That is r prime. That is correct. 1, negative 6. Here's 1 is negative 6. That's correct. So, so far, two points are correct. 1, 3. 1, 3. That's also correct. And then 10, 3. That's also correct. So the rule uh, holds right so it's uh, it's all good so you can use the rule to actually uh, speed up the process now the rules um, for the x and the y axis are actually um, easy to remember right the y stays same the x changed to opposite there are some other rules that are a little bit more complicated where you have to actually remember right so um, we'll get there i'll remind you when we get when we get there so submit awesome all right, for this one, we are reflecting over the x-axis. If you are reflecting over the x-axis, the x will stay the same. So this is opposite, right? This is the reverse of, of uh, the y-axis, right? So the x will stay the same. The y will become opposite, okay? So if you start with positive y, you're going to end up with negative y and vice versa, vice versa. If you start with negative y, you end up with a positive y. So let's use the rule and then we can confirm our location. Or let me mark the points real quick. Here's one and then this is uh, 10. Um, it looks like one, nine, eight, seven. So it's going to go be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's right here. And then this is going to be right here. And this will be right here. Okay. So I'm marking my point so I can confirm later. Now, if the X value stays the same, I will go ahead and fill in all the X value. Negative five, three, three, negative five. All right, the y value will be opposite. So I'm going to do seven here, negative seven. And so seven here again, this is positive one. And then this is also positive one. Okay, opposite of negative, right? Uh, and then let's double check negative five, seven. I'm just going to check a couple. Negative five, seven. There's one point. Uh, three, one. Three, one. There's another point. So um, when you check for quality, you can just um, do, you know, a percentage of, you don't have to do, you don't have to check all of them. Um, submit. 
Very cool. This is a triangle and we're reflecting over the y-axis. So I'm just going to do my rule now, okay? I'm just going to do my rule. Remember the y will stay the same. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in the y. 3, 3, negative 2. The x will be opposite, so this will become a 3. This will become a 0 because 0 is just neutral. And this will become a positive 2. Okay, submit. Ta -da. See, if you know the rule, it's actually faster. All right, x-axis. So all the x will stay the same. 1, 4. Oops, that's not a 4. 4. Oh, my God. I didn't change it. 4, um, 5, 0. Okay, the y would be opposite, so it's going to be positive 10, positive 10, 0 is just 0, 0 is 0. Okay, so there we go. Submit. Ta -da. Okay, let's skip around a little bit. Oh, that's an interesting figure. Uh, and it's reflecting over the y equals to one line. Oh, this one, yeah, having a graph will be very useful because you're going to draw this line and you're going to reflect. So you're going to reflect. This point stays the same. So I have a point there. U prime will be over. So it's two units away from the line. Now it's not from the axis. It's from the green line, right? So U is two minutes away. I mean, two units away. So I'm going to plot this two units away. Uh, w is up here, two units away. And this T is actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 units away. So it's going to be 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 units away. So I'm actually at 10, okay? Because I have to consider this green line and not the axis, right? Okay? So here are my locations. So there's no rule here. So I am going to fill in V first because that stays the same. One, one. Okay. And um, do, a T, let's start with T prime way up there. It's actually going to be one. So uh, if you notice Y value actually stays the same. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, X value actually stays the same, right? So X value stays the same. So I'm going to do... Um, one here and then 10 okay one ten okay I do I don't know um, reflect in that too uh, this one X stays the same reflect will be one and then three yeah okay uh, this one uh, X stays the same. Reflect is one and then three also, right? W, yeah, that is also three, is zero three. Okay, so submit, yeah, awesome, okay. All right, this one, um, this one, we are going to reflect it over the y-axis. Remember, reflecting over the y-axis, the x will change and the y stays the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the y, seven, Negative seven and negative seven, negative three, negative three. Okay, and then the x will change to opposite. So this will be six. This will be three. This will be three, and this will be six. Okay. Hi. This one is a weird shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and plot the points first, uh, reflecting over the y-axis. Always read direction first, guys. So here's one point. It's another one, that's G, that's H prime. And then this one touches negative 10, so it's gonna touch positive 10 over here. This one is negative six, so it's gonna be on this side. So, okay, so it's not too bad. All right, let's fill in these locations. So this is G prime, this is F prime, okay. And this is um, E prime. And this one up here is H prime, okay? So, all right, you, this requires you knowing your coordinate, okay? The X go first. So let's do um, it, let's, uh, E first. So E is 10, negative 6, okay? So I'm going to do 10, negative 6. Oh, wait, 
reflecting over the y-axis. Oh, that's easy. I can just use the rule. Y will stay the same. Uh, three. Why am I plotting these? Uh, one. I thought it was over the line. Okay. This will be opposite. So that will be positive 10, positive 2, positive 2. Finish. Making it way too much harder. The line y equals to 1. Here we go again. The line y equals to 1 is right over here. Okay, so you've got to count distance. So m prime is going to be on the other side right here. So it's just one unit. J is four units away. So on the other side, you've got to count four units. So here's J prime. Okay, so this is m prime. That's J prime. Okay, and then K is, well, I should not draw my letter there. Okay, I should draw J over here. This, I don't, okay. And then K is two units away more. So there's J, I mean, there's K, K prime. And then L is way down here. It's at negative 10. However, we are reflecting it. So it's one, two, so it's it's actually one less than that because I'm reflecting it and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units away. So this is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units away. So J, L is actually here. Okay, so you guys be careful when you do this. It's not count it from the axis. It's actually count it from the line of, of symmetry. Okay, so there's L prime. All right, let's fill in the order pair here. M looks like at uh, negative seven, zero. Okay, so M is gonna be negative seven, zero, zero. All right, um, so all of these will have the same x value, negative 7, negative 8, and negative 8, okay? Um, <clears throat> the y value, let's find out where j prime is. j prime, the y value is negative 3. The y value for k prime is uh, negative 3, negative 5. The y value for L prime is negative 8. And that one, 0. OK, so submit. Awesome. All right. OK, so now it's asking me for the rule. OK, which axis? Well, if you notice, the x-axis value stays the same. So that must have been reflection over the x-axis. OK. All right. Um, so, oh, here's another rule that we have not seen. Okay, so if you can see the y, oh, wait, we've seen this one, sorry. Y value stays the same, so it's the y axis. Sorry about that. I looked at the other negative and I was like, what is that? Anyway, uh, we've seen that one. Uh, which axis? So y stays the same, so y axis. Okay, all right, the line. Okay, so here's a different one. Uh, the reflection is over this line. Well, you got to know where this line is. This line is right here. Dun, dun, dun. So it's it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's right here. And it go like that. It's the parent line of a linear equation. So when you reflect this over this line, this B will be exactly on the opposite, equal distance. The C, let's just count it. One, two, three, one, two, three, right here. So that's C prime, right? B prime, C prime, okay? And then here, A, let's just count straight in, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Use your slope in counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. So having a grid, it's very useful, right? And then D, if you notice, D is right across from that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a half, and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry, my alarm is going off. Okay, so there's D prime. There's A prime, okay? So I know their location. Let's fill in the, um, the order pairs. So... Uh, they want a prime first. So a prime is going to be at, um, this is, this look like seven, negative five, seven, negative five, 
7, negative 5, okay? Oh, look, that's just switching. <gasps> look, it's like, look like the x and the y just switching. Look, the 7 go over here and the negative 5 go over here. Let me try this one. Uh, I think it's going to be 7, 5. We can test it. 7, 5. I'm just switching them. So 7, 5 was B prime. 7, 5. Yep, I'm just switching. So let's do it. 10, 5. Hey, we discovered the rule. Actually, no, we talked about this rule in the lesson, so <laughs> we didn't discover it, but you can verify it. This is also 10, negative 5. So if you remember the rule to switch them, um, then you can do it faster, I guess. But I mean, as you notice, I didn't use the rule at the beginning. So you really don't have to memorize the rule. You just need to know how reflection really works on the coordinate plane and, and get your answers, right? So knowing the rules make things go a little bit faster, of course. So, all right, submit, ta-da, awesome. Okay, ooh, this one is interesting, x over three. So reflecting it over the line x over three, I mean, not x over three, x equal to three. x equal to three is a vertical line and it's gonna go like this. Okay, so w, we know it's gonna stay exactly the same even when we reflect it. The, the, the vertex for w will stay the same. So I'm just going to keep w the same, 3, negative 4. Okay, whatever I can do to save myself some time. This one is 3 units away, as you can see right here, three, 1, 2, 3 units away. So on the other side, you also need to be 3 units away. So there's v prime is going to be right there. Okay, and then same thing here, u is three units away. So u prime is gonna be right there. So now that we know where they are, let's fill in the location. So for v prime, it's gonna be zero, one. Zero, one. For u prime, it's gonna be zero, negative, I don't know what that is, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, yep, yeah, zero, negative six. So that's not too bad. All right, submit. Okay, I think we've seen a lot already, but I would do one more uh, because this is a different equation. This is the line y equal negative x. So it's other way around. So it's the other way around. It's, it's this line right here, that line right there. Okay, it's a negative line, negative parent line. So, <clears throat> Uh, S, we know, will stay exactly the same when we reflect it over, right? So I'm just going to keep S the same, negative 1, 1. R is going to be half a unit opposite of on the other side. So there's R, and then if you count half unit away, there's R prime right here. Okay, R prime. Okay, and then T, if you count 1, 2, let's see right here, 1, 2, three, four. You count one, two, three, four. T prime is right here. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> let's fill in the location. So R is going to be zero, one. R prime will be zero, one. Okay. And then, oh, look like they switch. And then the X value changed to opposite uh, positive on the y value, okay? Uh, switch, and then there will be, oh, so it will be 1, 9. Let's check to see if that's correct. Uh, 1, 9? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's not 1, 9. It's negative 1, 9. Oh, so they switch and they change signs. They switch and they change signs on both of them? Yeah, they switch and they change signs. So... This will be negative 1, negative 1, 9. Ah, there you go. Submit. Please be correct. Oh, ah, yay. All right, guys. I think I'm going to stop here. Um, this is uh, same question again. The y values, the x value stays the same, so it's x-axis. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video. Um, if you would be kind and subscribe to my channel, please. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.